fly as well as men. Is that uh, all you want to say? Go ahead, speak up. That's all. I'm going to my... Valerie, wait. Maybe I did love you once. But not now. I'll, uh, I'll see you to the elevator. Don't. Wait. Music lover. Well, that, uh, that was quite an act. Not all of it. Which part of it was true? That the Schiffer will kill you. All right. He will kill you. Well, you've done your job well, Valerie. I hope he pays you well. Jimmy, I still love you. But the Schiffer will kill you. Well, you can tell your employer he's wasting his time. I got... Sixth floor, I guess. For the lady. Come in. Come in, beautiful. Well? <laughs> Where it appears. I've done my job. Now I'm going to my room. You stay here. Turn it on again. And, uh, you see, Valerie, we have a microphone in Bond's room. Uh, you were once so, so close to him. I, I just wanted to make sure about your present feelings. Oh, but you came through magnificently. Any suspicions I might have had were, uh, were quite unfounded. I did all you asked. Admirably. Perhaps, uh... Perhaps even a little more. What do you mean? Mm. Nothing. I I was just wondering how your lipstick got smudged. <laughs> oh, I, I have no objections to your being kissed by a man you once loved, but uh, it does open up an interesting angle of speculation, which is... Um, does he still love you? You said you heard. Yes, but I couldn't see, and you could. What does it matter? Oh, it could matter very much. Bond and I on opposite sides of the fence. Hello. Uh, uh, would you get me the casino, please? The chef de partie. Hello. Hello. This is James Bond. Yes. Look, uh, what you said about the police. I'd like them to keep close watch on me until after tomorrow night's game. I will give instructions immediately, Mr. Bond. Good night, Mr. Bond. always been able to protect myself. Now they choose Mr. Bond to take me on, and and your Mr. Bond is very lucky, and and Mr. Bond has card sense, and I don't like it. Tell me, uh, does he still love you, Valerie? Of course he doesn't. Not now. Because, you see, tomorrow, tomorrow night I have to win. I have to have 80 million francs, and no one is going to stand in my way, you hear? No one. Four thirty two, please. In Dieppe. Hello. Hello, Mr. Rudy, please. Hello, Mr. Rudy, this is Leiter speaking. I just wanted to make sure that you had that story written. Yes, it'll be later this evening. Will you be there when I call? No, I I don't know what time. The game might go on quite late. It's very hard to tell. Yes, I wish you would. I'd rather you handle it yourself. The story should be in the Paris newspapers at the same time, don't you think? Oh, good, good. Yes, now all we've got to do is hope that he wins. Yes, yes, I will, and thank you very much. I'll ring you as soon as I have definite news. Goodbye. Mr. Leiter? That money you have, 
Would you kindly put it on the table? I believe it to be 26 million francs. We want it. That makes it very awkward. Because I want it too. You have exactly 10 seconds to do as I say. It's quite all right, thank you. I think the call's for me in any oh, case. Oh, just a moment. Will you do me a kind favor? Will you take this money to the cashier, tell him to hold it for Mr. Bond, who'll pick it up later this evening? Why, certainly, Mr. Lighter. Thank you very much. Why don't you pick it up? It might be for you. Twenty-six million francs. Correct, sir? That's correct. Yes, sir. Well, Leiter, how'd you make out last night at uh, Baccarat? I lost my shirt. Maybe you're a bad teacher. Cigarette. Good luck, and make sure you clean him out. Thanks. Sorry you lost your shirt. Bond. I'd like you to meet an old friend of mine, Sir James Bond, at Zipper. I've always heard of you as, uh, a ship. Well, that's the same, you see. It's a nickname of mine. After the war, I was a displaced person, just a, a number on a passport. Uh, Le Schiffer means a mere cipher. Seemed a suitable name. May I say you're a very important cipher? You flatter me, sir. Uh, we play tonight, huh? Good luck. Thanks. To you. Valerie. Excuse me, beautiful. I catch your number six for you, Mr. Bond. Good evening. Oh, Lord Danvers. Mr. Bond, you want it on the telephone. Oh, thanks. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. You pardon me, sir? Hello. <clears throat> this is Bond. Yes, Mr. Bond. This is a friend. Who? Oh? Mr. Bond, it may be that you still have a certain attachment for a young woman by the name of Valerie Mathis. You should know, if you win tonight, she will lose. Oh, nothing more important than her life. This, uh... This young lady is part of your own organization. Why should it concern me if she dies? Well, perhaps it does not. But the fact is still indisputable. If you win, she will lose her life. Pardon me for interrupting your game. I only wish to pass on the warning. Goodbye. Pardon me, have you finished with that phone? Keep an eye on that girl, Valerie Mathis. Keep an eye on her. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Sorry. Cigarette, Valerie? No, thank you. The game is back around. Ladies and gentlemen, a bank of one million okay. francs. Okay. The bank is one million francs. Banco. No card. Nine at the bank. And seven. The bank of two million francs. Banco Suivi. Card. Seven at the bank, and four. Bank of four million francs. No. No. 
Bunko. Nine at the table. Bakara. Sir. Continue. A bank of two million francs. Bunko. No. Seven at the bank. And five. A bank of four million francs. Nine at the bank, and seven. Bank of eight million francs. Bago Swede. Six at the bank, and three. 